Mas malakas na bagyo, matinding tagtuyot, pagkasira ng kalikasan at pagkalat ng mga sakit. Ilan lamang ito sa mga perwisyong dulot ng nagbabago nating klima. Kung dito sa Metro Manila, higit 9 pesos per kilowatt hour ang binabayarang kuryente, halos doble sa ilang lugar sa probinsya. In this modern world we live in, we have become completely dependent on electricity. We use it to power our gadgets and appliances. We use it to light our rooms at night. We use it to keep ourselves cool in the hot weather. It is what has made our lives better and comfier at present. Can you even imagine how our lives would be without it? We use energy every day. And as the digital age became prominent in society, it is currently considered a requirement and necessity for everyone. Me, you, even Africa. According to Statista, fossil fuels are the largest contributor to electricity generation worldwide, with coal being its main source. And according to the Department of Energy, the Philippines is largely a coal-consuming country that uses coal for 58% of the power generation mix in 2021. Coal is the least expensive of all the fossil fuel. However, it results in high emissions of various pollutants, which can cause acid rain, global warming, and other severe environmental and public health concerns. This is also a non-renewable energy, which implies that it is in limited supply and can't be sustainable. It may be one of the cheapest ways, but it is not the best method for obtaining energy. The longer we continue to use it, the more we will be affected in the future. Renewable energy is the best alternative in this situation. These are energy from natural sources that are not depleted when used, such as sunlight and wind. Yes, you heard that right. We can produce energy with these sources simply existing around us. It even emits little to no greenhouse gases. It creates jobs, reduces local air pollution, and requires less water. It exclusively uses local resources and therefore help insulate our economies from external energy security shocks. Some of the best alternative renewable energy that our government can shed light to are as follows. Number one is the solar panels. It works when the sun shines on them. The PV cells in the panel absorb solar energy and generate electrical charges that move, resulting in the flow of electricity. Second on the list are hydropower plants. It works by letting the water from the waterfall flow through a pipe then pushes against and turns blade in a turbine to spin a generator and produces electricity. This is perfect in our country because we are rich in waterfalls. There are hundreds and hundreds of waterfalls that can be found in our country alone. Wind turbines. It works by the use of wind. The wind turns the propeller-like blades of a turbine around a rotor, which spins the generator that creates electricity. The best places for wind farms are in coastal areas and gaps in mountains because these are where the wind is strong and reliable. Our country is an archipelago surrounded by big bodies of water. Therefore, we have many coastal areas. Moreover, the Philippines is rich in mountains with at least 3,142 mountains. Fourth is tidal power plants. It works like wind turbines that have blades that turn a rotor to power a generator. The movement of water causes the push of turbines to generate electricity. As we had said a while ago, Our country is an archipelago surrounded by big bodies of water. Therefore, we have a lot of marine and coastal areas where we can place tidal power plants. Number five is the geothermal power plant. It works by using steam coming from below the Earth's surface. The steam causes a turbine to spin, which ignites a generator to produce electricity. Our country is a part of the Pacific Ring of Fire. Therefore, there are plenty of volcanoes out there that can be used for this specific power plant. You may wonder, if there was such a solution in the first place, why is the use of fossil fuels still so prevalent globally? 
The Philippines is making great strides towards energy independence by creating more sustainable energy sources. However, it's challenged by competitive oil prices, investment costs, and local electricity prices. We're stuck at the thought of maintaining what we have in the present rather than starting a new infrastructure, even if it's way better, which will benefit us as individuals and the Earth itself. We find it a waste to let go of what we already have in the past and present times. We should embrace and change for the better. For this reason, let us encourage change, as stated by George Bernard Shaw. Progress is impossible without change. According to the United Nations, renewable energy is powering a safer future. The supply of fossil fuels is finite. We will eventually run out of it to generate electricity. Let us not wait for it to vanish. It may be difficult to change your methods when it comes to renewable energy because it takes a lot of time and research, but just like Theodore Roosevelt said, nothing worth having comes easy. At the end of the day, we will benefit. Let us advocate and demand for greener energy, for the greater good of the environment, for the individuals, for the countries, for the world. Now, we're asking you. Now, we are asking you. Now, we are asking you. Now, we are asking you. Do you want a safer future?